Hey, this your boy Dog Man, and this is just another day at the office. Hey man, you already know what it is, man. Still getting to it. Dog Man is an individual, just a hard worker, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a God-fearing guy, husband, good father, and most of all, a risk taker, you know? A go-getter. Dollar making expert. Is that what DME stands for? That's what DME stands for. <laughs> Dollar making expert. Um, with me, it's always networking, spending money with them. You know, um, the most shows you do with them, the most successful shows you do with them, the better the outcome. You know. Now I take that back. If they see you take a lot of losses, and you keep coming back, I think they, you know. They kind of feel your pain too, cause the club always somewhat make a little change. It might not be a lot, but you know, I think that's that gap between. It. With me, I always just you know, I know how to, I know how to. I'm a people person. I'm a people person, but when we get down, it's just like anything. Yeah, ain't what you know is who you know. So if he just goes directly to the club, I think like anything else, he probably gonna get taxed. But normally, how how it's done is. You know, they go through a mutual person the first time, and from that point on, they build their own relationship with the club on them. You know what I'm saying? With me, I can't speak for them all, but I like to do events because the weekly thing, it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of work, time, and you don't make the same, you know what I'm saying? You don't make the same much money versus you playing a big, big event, you know what I'm saying? And you hit, you know what I'm saying, a couple of times a year. You know, you get that dentist and doctor pay. That's just my opinion. You know, they might think different. You know, a lot of them guys, they like to do it for the girls and chicks. You know, it depends what you're doing the fuck. You know what I'm saying? Right now, it's it's way more promoted than clubs. So you know, it's oversaturated right now. Niggas, nigga call it a promoter. They be like, well, I need a club to over so we can do something. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's definitely not like you. You've been around for a minute with us, so you know it ain't the same. It's crazy right now. Um, it was definitely that real, real, I call it that true guerrilla marketing because before social media, you definitely had to run TV commercials. You definitely had to run radio. You definitely had to do, uh, posters and flyers. You know what I'm saying? And you had to tell somebody you got to, you had to do your email blast. Now, you know, now it's almost just like the, the beat game. You can make, they make the beats on Fruity Loop. Versus a dude who been working, who learned all the years on a beat machine, it's like it didn't change. You can make a beat in two minutes. You can promote in two minutes. Just, just hit and just you know hope somebody like it. And you know, it just you got to change with the time. We do it all though. You know, As, you know how I go. I just like I like I just like the branding and go that extra mile that they want to do. You know, a lot of promoters that have team up with me, they say we over promote. I disagree. You know what I'm saying? You can't never over promote, if you ask me. You can go over your budget, but I don't think you can over promote. And I, sometimes I attend like my birthday badge. I might, you know, I might get the airplane to fly my name, you know. It depends what it is, you know. Well, in promo, if 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 you got if you're gonna spend twenty thousand on an artist, you got to at least spend five thousand in promo. And the key word is still ain't guaranteed. Ain't that guaranteed. So you just gotta gotta believe in your product. You know, gotta believe in your product. But you know, you when you sit down and do your numbers, crunch your numbers, you gotta be hoping for the best. So you already thinking a win win. With me, I don't really chase holidays like most other promoters do. They chase holidays. I go with timing, planning it, you know. Like I say, I go in thinking a win, you know. At least, nowadays you got to think, okay, if I spend, if I spend 80 bands, if I make 90,000, that's a win nowadays. Like, it, it might seem like a bigger risk, but you don't got immune to it. If he bless me with $10,000 a win, you know, you can make, who, who could make $10,000 in one day besides doing your thing on the street, you know what I'm saying? So anything over 10,000 is a blessing, you know? So I, it's really like timing, watching your calendar, trying to drop, drop your flyer first. Really, I try to go against the grain. So, like, right now, of course, it's going to be 
I used back in the day I used to do Memorial Day weekend as DME week. But since there's so many promoters now, everybody, oh that's a big weekend. So you got like 35 parties now. So not saying that I laid down, they scared me. I just used my head. So, okay, I'm gonna let them have so I just create a whole nother weekend. You know what I'm saying? I, it, it's it's how you you know how you how you lay the, the map out. I make the week. I, you try to you got to make the party anyway. It's the artists. You know what I'm saying? Cause that Memorial Day weekend, I'm, they got like about last year they had what 17 artists, and we was last. We still won, but they made me work harder than motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I had to I had to go. You know they made me go old school, but I had to work for that little check. But I like dang. Okay, so I see what it is. Everybody was stuck on Memorial Day weekend but it ain't really enough money to spread around because they can't buy sections at seven clubs so they picking and choosing you give them that right one then they just, they held it so me i just watch the calendar and just try to pick me a good date nobody ain't on right the difference between live nation they 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 monopolize and everything so you might you can't see your calculator and they calculate is going to be different because they already they own a lot of the venues so when they do, when they, like right now, we can't get Beyonce. They can. They already got their money tied in with Beyonce. But they might lose in Texas. They might break even in Atlanta, but they might kill Jacksonville, Orlando. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like anything else. It's just like, I mean, we do it on a smaller scale. Like we might grab an artist for seven dates versus they got 45 dates. You see what I'm saying? So they punch, they don't feel they punches like us. We might have to take a knee real quick, right? <laughs> so they, they, they keep it going now they don't really feel it because you know it, you know it take money to make money once you get to that certain certain level you don't really feel it you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. right it's very important because you know what he weak you could be strong and vice versa a lot of you know you, you come you go to a city like what i just did the super bowl weekend i didn't go in there lemon nuts i ain't thinking we could just take over i clicked up with the ones you know I clicked up with Big Bank, you know what I'm saying, who controlled the east side of Atlanta, and sort of twist the dog, man, you know, so he tell me, don't go down that road, there, boy, that's a bunch of, bunch of German shepherds down there, versus me not knowing, and you, you know what I'm saying, you know, it's easy, it, that's the best uh, way to do it, is to always patch up with somebody in that market, you know, it can save you a bunch of headache and a lot of money, and time, they call it staggering, Staggering. yeah, they staggering the artists, where it just almost like, you kind of want to just you, I'm, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get me a, 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 a Tory Lane so I can make sure I got the female. I'm finna get me a little baby so I got the dual generation. Then I'm gonna get me an old school nigga like Jeezy so I can get the trap nigga right. So you put it all in one big pot. So now my session's five grand. You know what I'm saying? Versus you got one artist over there. They they still at two thousand dollars plus. You know you it's a, it's the same ticket so you you know it's like. 56 and 80 and here's the same price you like man shit i can go over there and get all of them for that same price and they kind of we kind of win on the section and once you sell out them tickets then we just jump up on the price it ain't number that ain't number but like strategizing that jump you know sometimes it could blow up in your face sometimes that shit could be a blessing you'd be like damn i should have left it at home it just depends you know we have to deal with it we don't like it but one minute they be Five thousand, and the gang so messed up. Next time you talk to them, they want thirty-five thousand. I mean, what can you do? If they hot, unless they ice or cold, then you can tell them, "Hey, let me hit you right back." But if they hot, they tell us they gonna hit us right back. So it depends if they hot or not. If they hot, we got to get them. I remember the baby. The baby was twelve something. Now he want eighty bands. You know what I'm saying? So. Look at that gap. It's a blessing. Make you want to be a rapper, huh? Right. Shit, I'm about to write me some shit. Boy. Damn. They don't tell them but one record. Yeah. One record, boy. That changed it all. Boy, I'm talking about. Do those rates, do those, do those, have those rates, do they rise a lot faster now? Yeah. I seen it just, right now it seems like they be just tripping. Not, you be, you, they'll say some shit like, oh yeah, he got a, fe he got a feature with uh, Blase Blase. So by your birthday, dog man, I, I know he won't 25, but by your birthday, he gonna be at 50. How can they gauge that, you know what I'm saying? But it go back to a relationship too, so that's when you pull your relationship card out and you be like, look, this is what we'll do then. 
You know, because it ain't nothing but playing chess. He want 50. I want 25. Let's, let's meet in the middle. Let me give you like 35. Put a little down. Let's hope he stay hot because he could be cold. You know what I'm saying? And, and and they do it. You know, they you know they do it. You know, I like to go against the, the artist that I'm going to bring this year. You know, I'm looking to do Gucci Man and Little Baby. You know, Gucci Man, he hot, but he ain't really hot. You got this how I'm a, you know what I'm saying? That's how you put it, you know. Gucci, Gucci Man is Gucci Man. He's a legend. So I got to sell that. As a legend, so that the good part about that, they ain't, they ain't coming like, oh yeah, by your birthday he gonna want a hundred thousand. He already went through that phase already. You see what I'm saying? So he already had one ticket. Now little baby, little, little baby, done like you know, I mean, if he it depends, he do a song with Bruno Mars. They oh yeah, bro, you know what you want a hundred? That that how they do it. It's like God damn, bro, and it just make it hard for us to crawl back and make some money, you know. But it do. I, I kind of I ain't gonna lie. Low key, I like that shit because it separate. You know what I'm saying? So, because what they what will happen is they will bring an artist a hundred times when he too cheap. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of promoters, but when he when he had a certain number, you ain't got to worry about him coming. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't brought Gucci Man yet because they were scared of his price. Nobody ain't brought Meat Mill here because they scared of his price. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't brought Future because they scared of his price. So that I rather gamble on that. I rather do my hard rock fourteen like that. 